Hey Dr. Fans, you're watching Airmail and I'm Alexa Lane. I'm first three game winning streak. We're finally picking up momentum and we're starting to see that team that we're so used to seeing in 2017. Leading the team at the plate is Yasmani Grandal with a 347 batting average. He's ranked second currently in the National League just behind Ryan Flaherty Boo! of the Atlanta Braves. Yasmani is followed closely by Matt Kemp with a 333 batting average whose plate appearances are finally starting to look just as pretty as his eyes. And who's trailed by Cody Bellinger with a 297. Though we're still seeing Corey Seager, Chris Taylor, and Yasiel Puig hovering just over the Mendoza line. <laughs> Hitting coach Turner Ward has stated that though we don't have much to show for it, we are achieving quality at bats. We're drawing more walks, chasing less, and we're making contact with the ball. And here it goes. Yes, tradition. <laughs> Turner. <laughs> in fact, we're only being struck out eight times a game on average. That's third best in the National League. Our biggest hurdle so far has been our lack of come from behind wins. We've scored first in all seven of the games that we've won this season. Last year in 2017, no matter what was plaguing us, we always figured out a way to come out with that W. The long ball would play a factor in the ninth. Yasiel Puig off Hector Neris. Solo shot makes it 5-3. The next batter, Cody Bellinger, the son of the former big leaguer Clay, making his papa proud. Back-to-back -back homers for the Dodgers there within one. And LA couldn't do it for a third straight at bat, could they? Oh yes, they could. Justin Turner back to back to back jacks for Turner. That extends his hitting streak to 15 straight games. Then later in the ninth, that's Adrian Gonzalez grounding one to third off the glove of Michael Franco. Here comes Austin Barnes and the Dodgers walk off a 6-5 winner. In the past week, Clayton Kershaw, Hunchin Ryu, and Alex Wood have all thrown dazzlers, all going over five innings and giving up very few runs. Skipper Dave Roberts relies heavily on sabermetrics as his coaching strategy. It's about getting things down to one number. Using the stats the way we read them, we'll find value in players that nobody else can see. This means that third time around in the order, it's most likely going to be time for a pitching change. We saw this most recently with Alex Wood against the San Diego Padres. Though he pitched very well through five and a third innings, it was time to take him out. According to statistics, that's the time to make the call to the bullpen and take our starting pitcher out. Hello, it's me. Though our starting pitching in our bullpen has been pretty phenomenal for us, we still need to talk about our closer, Kenley Jansen. What is going on with Kenley? This year, he's blown two of the four save opportunities he's been given. In 2017, he was able to save 41 out of 42 opportunities. That's a little scary for the rest of the season, and it's essential that he pitches his best because we rely on him so much, not only to be our closer and get those three outs, sometimes we rely on him to come out in the eighth inning and finish out the game for us. Throwing into November, Kenley threw more last year than ever before. So Dave Roberts and our pitching coach, Rick Honeycutt, had the best intentions when they tried to give him an easy spring training. But the fact of the matter is he's just not prepared. Don't know if it's his mechanics, what's going on with him, but he really needs more work. And it's not always best to put him in in a safe situation right now. He's stressed out and every time he blows a situation like he did last night, even though we did go on to win the game, it still is detrimental to his morale. But aside from that, I really feel like things are starting to look up for the 2018 Dodger Ball Club. Well guys, the series finale against the San Diego Padres is about to start, and it's that time. It's time for Dodger Baseball! So I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Dodgers Delivery. 
If you have anything to say, leave a comment and don't forget to like this episode. See you next week, Dodger fans.